is electromagnetic wave. Don't need any medium. Apparently, they can just walk fast enough to not need their car. But they can also use their car as well. Medium also viable. So they can also use their car if they want to sometimes. So, now let's talk about the different types of cars. Now, I'm not talking about Lamborghini, Honda, or any of the works like that. Different types of cars, I mean by how is one better than the other? Well, that's by determined by their index of refraction. What is the index of refraction of my car? You won't get any answers, likely. But what is the index of refraction of any material, like what this table here is made of? You'll probably get an answer for that. Because an index of refraction is C over V. C is the speed of light in a vacuum. And speaking of electromagnetic waves, here are three examples. Light, 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 okay, light. That would be this number that I'm not willing to say out loud right now. So, V is the velocity of the light in the material we're talking about. So, technically, we can just say that the velocity of light is equal to C, the speed of light in a vacuum, divided by the index of refraction of the material you're in. For air and vacuums, it is 1. But it can also get pretty funky sometimes. So, let's look at an example with medium and without a medium. So without a medium, V is just going to be equal to C. Let's just go a little more in depth to this. And let's add, because C is lambda F and N. So now, N goes to 1, of course. We don't need it. But what is lambda and what is F? Well, let's look at red light, for example. That's just going to be equal to, well, you can do the math, but it's eventually going to equate to around the speed of light, or 3 times 10 to the 8. All right. So now, that's without a medium, and that's for red light. But what about with a medium? Let's look at hmm, water, for example. So, since N is equal to C over V, or actually, we can say V is just C over N, and we know that C is, well, 3 times 10 to the 8, let's estimate. Uh, and N... What about N? Well, that would be 1.33. And that would be 2.5 times 10 to the 8th, about. Now, that is our answer for electromagnetic waves. And finally, the last kind of wave, the standing wave.